Really? Yeah, it's 500 to a second. I can't even blink my eye that fast. Huh. Well, if I tried, probably could. Maybe you should drive when we do the turnaround. That sounds like a good thing to get the... Uh... Sure, as you wish, you know, it's your experience. I can't go too fast anyways. No. Yeah. Yeah, There's nothing we can do right now. Yeah. It's all great, though. I mean, it's a great car, I can tell. You should drive it more if you feel like it. Obviously, if you want me to drive, I'll drive. Turn around and go back, yeah. or yeah. Turn around, and make our way back up. What I've been using is the final house on the left. Now this car has radio and everything. It's a totally oh, yeah. modern Bluetooth. car, right? Yeah, Bluetooth. You change your radios from your ear channel. You press that big gauge channel. It has all the functions that Audis have. So they're very intelligent, savvy. HD rear view mirror, full time. Parking sensor up to the left here and the coolest thing is the hydraulic lift you know yeah we had that on the other car that's very valuable I, I do you want me to really pull up to this yeah. one here the one that's okay. that gets out of the way we'll pull up and then we'll just reverse where's the hydraulic deal I've, I've, i already pulled it up and it's gone up it's gone up yeah you're cool there's no there's no word no issue in the world isn't that weird yeah like you great. don't expect it to be okay yeah. <laughs> it's fully okay you're good on my side okay now reverse reverse is right next to the end there it is yep now you got a digital camera as well. Okay. Oh, I don't know if on, but got it. Let's see, there's another one. And then we're good. It's cool because you don't even have to look sideways. That's interesting. Just look oh, at I that. can see, yeah, it's good. Oh, there's another one coming. He'll let you go though if he wants you to go. He definitely wants you to go. He wants to wash this car. Off the course, okay? I'm sorry, you're going to do what? Try the shift, see how fast it's going. Wow. It's very exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Carbon ceramic disc brakes and your brakes. Yeah. Brakes, huh? I felt it, yeah. Do you feel that Corsa? I felt that. So now your steering wheel's sharpened up, less um, less power steering, less vagueness in the wheel, direct as it can be, and you have stiffer suspension and a quicker gear shift. So now it's at its racing. That's why Corsa is put there. Corsa means racing in Italian. So you have a domestic car until you put that on, then it's a violent monster, okay? This car is supposed to compete with the F50, the Enzo, and the Bayron, you know. Well, it's so much easier to drive than the F50. I mean, really, yeah. when I would go on these runs with a bunch of people, you know, the problem was... What was the problem? The problem when I went on those runs is everybody wants to take me because I'm in the F50. And the difference is that these guys with the, mo the modern cars, they're driving something like this, it's a lot easier to well, be put going in extreme. In the F50, man, it's a lot of work. You know, I'm, oh, and everything is heavy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, it's okay, that's my brother in law <laughs> Him and I are working this event, no problem. Wow, that, that, um, that push, huh? the push up, but That's the downshift, push. I don't feel quite like that. What's going on? My downshift right now. See? Okay, there it is. I see. Got it. Okay, when I you feel change it. full throttle, uh -huh. it throws you because it's a 500 of a second shift. Yeah, if I change very... mode, then it can go very mellow. You want to try the mellow again? That nah, is good. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Change. The hell with the mellow, right? What a beautiful car, huh? It's so okay. stable. You feel it's stiffer now, it's hard over the bumps. This is made for race track. Yeah, it's great. I guy was warning us today. Did you see him give us a signal? Yeah. It's all good. Alive, huh, when you give gas, and then if you if you put it in seventh gear now, you wouldn't even hear the engine, for example. So what gear did I? I was only like in third and fourth, right? No, you got to I didn't even fourth. think. Yeah, but I didn't get to fifth or sixth or seventh. No, so there's seven like gears, huh? Plus, and an uphill in a small yeah. little country road. 
Yeah, it's, no, it's a great awesome. car. It's a awesome. fucking great car. No doubt about it. And it's it is better than the 458. It's like it just feels, good. yeah, it just feels more substantial. You know what I mean? And then it has a four-wheel drive system as well. You know, yeah. you know the 458, 0 to 60, 3.4 seconds, right? This, 0 to 60, 2.9. Shock. That's why it feels good too. <laughs> wow, that's just beautiful. What a car. Yeah, the shifting is amazing. Especially on the upshift. Motherfucker, and what can I tell you? I've been around. We all get old, though. I'm gonna be old too, and I have a story. You know? well, how is it living up here? Fine, Richard. Well, I, I just am buying it, so I live in Sunset Plaza, which is very good. Okay. I just moved from Brentwood. Uh, I was the next door neighbor of Tom Brady and Giselle. And, Are you uh, kidding? Oh. Uh, Schwarzenegger was on the other side. It's a 35 million dollar property. Giselle, pretty. I don't think, not as pretty as my girlfriend. Neither is Heidi Klum, who lives on the other side of me. Really? Yeah, I got amazing neighbors. It's shocking where I live. They had a big party last night at uh, Tom Brady's house. You did? They did. Oh, they did. They did. I just celebrating moved. losing the Super Bowl? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I or never thought Giselle was very good looking. My what? girlfriend's better than both Giselle and Heidi Klum combined. It's a joke. Really? Yeah, I got pictures. I'll show you if you get time, but you never saw anything like my girlfriend. Right here, right here. Yeah, I got it. Good job. I mean, you're doing something right. That's probably the cars. <laughs> you can only imagine what's going to happen now. <laughs> Richard, you're very calm, man. You're very calm. You get these old geezers that have no fucking idea in the car, and you're doing good. You're not shitting yourself. Well, uh, you paid the ticket to stop, not me. Okay, so there's a limiter on the car we just hit. Did That's you feel a, that it's limiter? A red limiter yeah. yeah. Okay, I got that now. It's That's the first time we hit that. We haven't See, this looks like somebody got died. killed, right? Well, that's the problem about going too fast. You know? Yeah. I want to we help control the cars, but uh, this car is great. You have control, and you did get totally stupid great. In the corner. Support. Totally great car. You did a very good job. Well, thank you, Richard. It was nice to meet this you. This car, a good car, that makes you get a lot out of it right away. It lets you exploit its potential quickly, yeah, right? It that's also, to be honest with you. It makes a good driver. In other words, That's what I'm saying. this is not a hard car to drive. It makes you seem a good driver right away. F50, I gotta work at it, let yeah. me tell you. And that's I gotta... good training though, because you become a good driver. <laughs> well, this is a good car, huh? wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. They did a great job. I've never been in the market for a Lamborghini. Yeah, times are changing though. You know, they've done a rear wheel drive to. Well, you couldn't see. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get in a car I can't see. No. It's kind of I can see for the first time. <laughs> you know, if I put, I would put, uh, you know, one of the Lamborghinis, isn't this it? Yes. I would put one of the Lamborghinis up on my wall. Like, I just put um, Steve McQueen's Triumph yeah. on my wall. I have it. Just put it on my wall. Can you imagine? It was just hung on my wall last a car? week. No, a motorcycle. Oh. From a 1953 uh, Triumph that Steve McQueen owned. I bought from him, yeah. you know, after his estate. And I just put it up on my wall. So, like, you know, Lamborghinis, I felt like that. You wouldn't want to drive them. You put them on a wall. Right, 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 right. This car is a driver. This car you want to keep in the garage and active. It's one of your daily toys. If you get matte colors, they have a matte black and a matte white. It's incredible. I like $20, this. $20,000 extra. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Here, right, 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 here. right here. Thank you. No, it's, we got the raise. You don't have to slow down. It goes four inches. You you raised it already? I didn't yeah. see that. I'll show you when we get here. So just as when we pulled in. Watch, watch when you pull it here. Ready? Yeah. Look. Uh, I see. See how much it goes? Yeah. Better fit, huh? Very good. Hand brake, pull it up. Engine off. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Uh, it was a very enjoyable thing. Glad you enjoyed it. 